कबो कौन आंगे देखी पुला का कदम्बा एका आंगे जराई तना आरांगे कांपा Sometimes there were eruptions of ecstasy like kadamba flowers on some parts of his body. Sometimes one limb would be stunned while another would be trembling. That's pretty good. When you go to the Ras Lila sometimes, if you ever go and see, I remember once in, in uh, Jai Shingera on the banks of the Yamuna, the boys were dancing over there. And boys, I mean, they're all Brahmin boys playing the parts of Radha and Krishna and this one boy is playing Krishna he was he was dancing he was ta- he's playing his flute to call the gopis and then while he was playing his flute he made one one eyebrow this eyebrow it's called eyebrow one eyebrow stayed like this and the other one went like up like this then he would go doot doot he had full control over his eyebrows so you know when you hear about Kripa, Krishna Kripa Kataksha or Radha Kripa Kataksha Aksha, aksha, aksha means eye, and kripa means glance of mercy. Sidelong glance of mercy. Maybe, I was thinking, well, maybe this is what it means. <laughs> Sidelong glance. Does it mean that you look out of the side of your eye or you move? And everyone, and all the babas, because in the front of the audience, all the babajis sit, and then the, uh, other people, so many kinds of people are there. And everyone's like, Radhe, you know, <laughs> because no one's ever seen in their life such a thing. And obviously, Krishna can do anything and everything. So this boy playing the part of Krishna became empowered to do everything and anything. And he certainly had the power to capture everyone's hearts. So this is uh, one, one, and we hear that many Ketan Ramdas, one, one of the limbs of his body was stunned due to the effect of Krishna Prem. And the uh, other one was like trembling, right? So one is just frozen. One arm is stunned. Stunned means not moving. It's frozen. And the other one is trembling. It's quite a quite a sight. Nityananda Bali Jabe Karine Hunkar Tahade Kilo Kerhaya Mahachamatkar. Whenever Mini Ketan shouted aloud the name of Nityananda, Nityananda Karina Hunkara, the people around him were filled with great wonder and astonishment. Deki lok, loka dek. When all the people would see, they were chamat, maha chamatkar. Chamatkar means amazed, astounded, astonished. Maha, greatly, like. Just imagine if you're sitting with someone, all of a sudden they say, ah! Hunkar literally means like the roar of a lion. Hunkar. Hunkara. When the, like, ah! You know, like, how can I imitate to give you any idea? I can't. You have to imagine what that means. Hunkara. Roar like a lion. Maybe you've seen in the movies or the zoo, in the zoo or something. Rah! Big lion. So this, he would, he would be in his ecstasies of remembering his ishta. Ishta means his worshipful Lord, his worshipful Lord. And he would just, he would yell, Nityananda! Like we say sometimes in the Mayapur, they say Goranga or something, right? They yell out, Goranga, you know. You know quite a lot about all that. So then, in our our line, then people over here on this side of the world, we say Radhe. You know. And people late at night, you'll hear sometimes at Radhakun. I remember I was sometimes sleeping over there and go, or a lot of times sleeping, <laughs> most of the time sleeping, and go Paul Mandir. And then uh, at late at night, and we would hear someone really late at night. We hear someone say Radhe, and they would just say, they would, I don't know. I was trying to imagine where is he and, and what is he doing exactly, but it seemed like he. Would, Whoever it was <clears throat> came to the banks of Radakun and stood there and went, Rod, hey, you know, it's like huge voice, you know, big voice, big man is just it's like a microphone, an uh, amplifier, Rod, hey, and then, and then you don't hear anything. Then somebody else from somewhere else says, well, wait a minute, you know, from another side, someone replied, Shah, <laughs> 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 because they they go together. You can't have Rod hey, without Sham. It's impossible. Just like you can't have you can't have fire without heat. If you make a fire somewhere, you must have heat. So if you have Radhe, you may only chant Radhe, but someone will definitely put Radharani, combine Radharani with Sham, because they they are always existing in pairs. There's always two. There's never one. So they were astonished when he would let out this Nitinana Nita. You know, they were, what what? Gunar, Gunarnava Mishanami, Eka Vipra Arya, 
Shri Murti Nikateno Kare Seva Kareya. Now we're, now we're, so far we've met two characters, Mini Ketan Ram <coughs> and the audience, the Sankirtan devotees at Krishna's Kaviraj's house. Now we're introducing another character in the drama. Leela means drama. One respectable Brahmana named Sri Gunarnava Mishra was serving the deity. So now we, we think, not, we have a neutral feeling. Oh, he's, he's a respectable Brahmana. He's serving the deity. Because in the house of Krishna's Kaviraj, they had a family deity. So this is, a, this is an entry from the personal diary of Krishna's Kaviraj. This is an eyewitness story. He saw it. He was there a few verses ago. He said, one day at, at my house, this person came. So now we have Miniketan Ramdas and we have Gunarnava, Gunarnava Mishra. Obviously, Mishra means a Brahman. Angane asiyateno na koila sambash tahadeki krudahana bale ramadas. When Mini Ketan was seated in the yard, like this is also the yard, this Brahmana did not offer respect. Seeing this, Sri Ramdas became angry and spoke. So now, if they're playing music, they're da 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 So he heard about the Nayak, the hero. The hero is Mini Ketan Ramdas. All right, Mini Ketan Ramdas. Now the, now the bad guy, oh my God, the bad, the bad guy's a Brahmin. He's respectable. And he's serving the deity. But it, now we find, that's what we heard the first verse. Right? We were neutral. But now we heard, oh, he's the bad guy. Oh, he, he didn't respect the Vaishnava? Oh, that's a no-no. That's a no-no. Don't be, you naughty Brahmin, what are you doing, you know? Don't you, don't you read the books? You're not supposed to do the Sadhu Ninda. The Sadhu Ninda is a no-no. Alright? That's number one, right? Is it? Is it number one? Sadhu Ninda is number one? You ever hear of something called Nama Parad? You've heard? What's the first offense? Maybe you haven't heard very much. <laughs> the first offense is the blaspheming the Vaishnav. What is it? Vaishnav devotees who are dedicated. You know, any Vaishnavs or sadhus who have dedicated their lives to propagating the holy name of the Lord. That's the way we present it. It's originally from Vishnu, from Padma, Vishnu Puran, also in Padma Puran. They're listed there. Actually, in the related the offenses are actually listed in relation to Lord Shiva. Offenses to Lord Shiva. But we we use those for the holy name also. So that's number one, Sadhananda. So this is what he did. He became angry. So Ramdas became angry because he didn't show obeisances. Special sound effects. <laughs> Krishna, he says in some places, he says so many people the personified Vedas, the Shrutis, and the Devatas, Brahma, Indra, Shiva, they offer me so many wonderful prayers, stotrams and stutis. And, and they come down every afternoon around well, around this time. This is a Purvan Leela from 3.36 to 6 o'clock when he's bringing all the cows back to the barn. And they come, they, they come down and say, Om Tad Vishnu Param Param Sada Pashanti Suryo Jujiva Chaksur Tatam. And they, they chat all these kind of stutis. And I'm thinking, oh my God. But when I get back in the village and I hear the, the gopis, and when I hear the, when I hear the gopis of Braj, the gopis and, and the gopas, when I hear them just talking Gramya Kata, it is, it is like music to my ears. And, and, and what I like the most is when the gopis are chewing me out. And the gopis are saying, you dirt, you lumpat. And dirt, lumpat, these are all like curse words in Sanskrit or Brajabhas. They say, you, you dirty man, you bad guy, you cheater, you lousy guy. And when they use all these harsh words on me, I feel like, oh, this is nectar to my ears. This is the sweetest, sweetest song for my heart to relish. So I'm hearing this uh, Brajbhasha. This is Brajbhasha. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe this is what... This, and Krishna, you know, some gopis yelling at Krishna, you came into my house, you stole butter, you rascal, why you came into my house, I, I just, I, I made that nice butter, and you broke the pot, and you ran all over my house with your dirty feet, and it made a mess everywhere. And Krishna's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, more, 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 more. You know? So this is, we have to think like this, this is all anukul. 
Everything in Braj is everything in Braj is anukul for Krishna Bhakti. If you want it. If you want it. If you're here because you want it, you'll get it. But if you're here because you want something else, you'll get something else. Malaria, <laughs> typhoid, a variety of other non Krishna and Leelas. <laughs> Various demons will come <laughs> in the form of mosquito demon. Mos- 